Welcome back to our channel where we explore the depths of science and technology. Today's topic is not for the faint-hearted, as we delve into the world of dead animals that scientists are close to reviving. Yes, you heard that right. We're talking about creatures that have been extinct for thousands of years, brought back to life through the miracles of modern science. Imagine seeing a woolly mammoth, saber-toothed tiger, or even a dodo bird come back to life right before your very eyes. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's happening right now in labs around the world. We'll be taking you on a journey through the incredible advancements in genetic engineering and cloning that are making it possible to resurrect these long-lost creatures. You'll get to see the cutting-edge technologies that scientists are using to extract DNA from fossils and how they're using that DNA to recreate these extinct species. But be warned, this video is not for the faint-hearted as we explore the gruesome details of bringing these dead animals back to life. So, if you're ready to learn about the latest breakthroughs in animal resurrection, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave a comment below letting us know which extinct animal you'd like to see brought back to life. Let's dive in. Saber-Toothed Tiger The saber-toothed tiger is one of the most interesting and widely recognizable animals from prehistoric times. However, what you may not know is that the cat is not related to a tiger at all. In fact, it's not even close. These animals have much more in common with your average house cat than they do with any ancient tiger or lion species. The saber-toothed tiger is believed to have lived around 10,000 years ago, though this is merely an estimate. It is highly possible that these animals lived thousands of years afterward, but the best scientific estimate we have is that they died off naturally around 10,000 years ago. There are three separate species of saber-toothed tiger that are known to exist, ranging in size from 120 pounds to nearly 1,000 pounds. The smaller species are known to have lived in North America, with large ones making their way to South America. The saber-toothed tiger is expected to have gone extinct during the Quaternary Extinction Event, an event that also claimed the lives of woolly mammoths and many other popular prehistoric species. Woolly Mammoth We can't discuss extinct species without mentioning the legendary woolly mammoth. These incredibly large animals are estimated to have lived over 2 million years ago, up until about 11,000 years ago. The closest living relative of the woolly mammoth is the Asian elephant, which is still alive and well today. There have been countless attempts to revive the woolly mammoth throughout human history, and scientists are still hard at work on various methods of potentially growing a woolly mammoth including the possibility of impregnating an Asian elephant with woolly mammoth DNA. These massive animals would have grown to weigh around 6 tons, with a birth weight of over 200 pounds. The mammoth managed to survive for millions of years, and even managed to live alongside early humans for a brief period. Populations began to dwindle, and humans began to hunt these mammoths for their tusks and ivory, which eventually led to their extinction around 4,000 years ago. Reviving the species is certainly possible, as we now have complete mammoth DNA to work with. Stellar Sea Cow Stellar Sea Cow is the name given to a species that vaguely resembles a manatee or a sea lion. The species has been extinct for hundreds of years and was first described in scientific literature by George Steller in 1741. It was originally only found near the Commander Islands, but it has now been found in several parts of the world, growing up to 30 feet long. Its closest living relative is believed to be the dugong, and the two look shockingly similar. However, a dugong typically only grows to be around 10 feet long. The stellar sea cow had a much thicker layer of fat surrounding its body than other members of the dugong family, making it easy for the species to adapt to colder temperatures. The animals mostly fed on kelp and other plants or algae. Some scientists believe that they may have been monogamous, which is quite uncommon for animals. They would even stick around through their adult lives 
to raise their young until they became young adults. Even afterward, the young would occasionally stick around for the remainder of their lives, as the stellar sea cow would almost exclusively travel in large families, rarely venturing out alone. It is believed that these animals were hunted for their fat and hide and went extinct just 30 years after they were discovered. Woolly Rhino The woolly rhino is an extinct species of rhino that lived around 11,000 years ago, dying off at the same time as the woolly mammoth. Woolly rhinos have been found buried in ice and cave paintings of them have been found all across Europe and Asia. It is believed that woolly rhinos suffered the same fate as woolly mammoths and were eventually hunted to death after humans found uses for their furs, horns, and bones. Reviving the woolly rhino has been proposed in a very similar manner to the woolly mammoth or the ibex. Implant the DNA of a woolly rhino into its closest living relative and cross your fingers. However, this has proven to be much more difficult than other animals, as modern rhinos are dying off at a rapid rate. Endangering them further by involving them in science experiments would just be cruel, and we don't have time to waste revitalizing the species as a whole. Passenger Pigeon The passenger pigeon was once the most popular bird in North America. These animals were everywhere and could be found in nearly every state and region across the continent. However, by 1914, they had all been killed by hunters. There are estimated to have been several billion passenger pigeons in North America, but every last one of them was killed for food. These birds are closely related to modern doves, and scientists already have several DNA samples from the birds. Reviving them seems to be a relatively straightforward process, but researchers are waiting for advancements in DNA technology to begin attempting to repopulate. Irish Elk the Irish elk is a name that is quite misleading because this animal is technically a deer. These animals lost their lives near the end of the Ice Age and are expected to have been the largest deer to ever live. Some Irish elk measured up to 12 feet long. Perfectly preserved Irish elk can be found all throughout icy areas of the world, as nearly all of them are found in the thick permafrost. DNA samples are plentiful, and we are simply waiting on scientists to make their move and revive these long-lost creatures. Dodo the dodo bird is one of the most memorable extinct species to have ever existed. These were one of only a handful of flightless birds to have lived at the time, settling mostly on the island of Mauritius, which is a short distance away from Madagascar. The dodo bird eventually led to the creation of the modern pigeon and dove, with the two being distant relatives. Fossils have proven that dodos would have been around three feet tall, which is quite large for a bird. Many drawings have been discovered over the years that indicate what these birds looked like. But aside from this, we only have skeletons to base our theories upon. The first mention of a dodo was by a group of Dutch sailors from the year 1598. However, by 1662, just 64 years later, hunters managed to hunt the birds into extinction. Because of a lack of historical documentation at the time, many began to believe that the dodo was a mythical creature. It wasn't until the 19th century that research was conducted, and dodo birds were remembered as being real animals. Scientists are hopeful that we will be able to revive the birds one day, but considering that their closest relative has also gone extinct, this possibility is becoming increasingly unlikely. Ground Sloth the ground sloth is an incredibly large animal that, when looking at its skeleton, may resemble a bear. These animals are very closely related to modern sloths, though the modern versions are known to only have three toes. The giant ground sloth is a prime candidate for the resurrection because they only went extinct a few thousand years ago. However, growing a full-sized ground sloth fetus inside of a modern sloth is truly impossible. This concept may have partially worked with the ibex, but ground sloths are substantially larger than three-toed sloths. Within just a few months, the fetus would be far too large to safely grow inside of its mother. Our only hope at the moment is to develop an artificial womb to grow the ground sloth. Caspian Tiger 
The Caspian tiger was a breed that lived in Turkey, Mesopotamia, and the Caucasus, though they were commonly found near the Caspian Sea. These animals lived in forested areas of these countries until the 1970s, when they are assumed to have gone extinct. This belief was confirmed in 2003, with the entire Caspian tiger population being confirmed as deceased. These tigers were average-sized, but are mostly remembered for their large torsos, a characteristic that is rather uncommon in other breeds of the tiger. Most of these beautiful animals weighed between 300 and 500 pounds, so they are not a breed to be messed with in the wild. The population has been dwindling for many years before their ultimate extinction, with one of the final Iranian Caspian tigers being seen in 1887. The country of Georgia saw its final tiger in 1922 after it was killed and taken to be displayed in a museum. Nearly every other country lost sight of them in the 60s and 70s, but there has been a single report of a Caspian tiger sighting in 1998 near the Babatog Range in Afghanistan. Following this, no others were ever seen or reported, and the Caspian tiger is now believed to be nothing more than a memory. Auroch the auroch was a rare species of wild cattle that was discovered in Asia, Europe, and North Africa. It is regarded as being one of the most ancient ancestors of domestic cattle, having survived in Europe until the early 1600s, when the last reported sighting was documented in Poland. Nearly all these cattle were believed to have been wild, though a few brave souls managed to domesticate them over the years for agricultural use. Auroch DNA can still be found in many modern species of cattle, which gives scientists hope that they can resurrect the species through selective breeding. Modern species like water buffalo and wild yak still sport many of the classic auroch characteristics, such as their dark colors and eel-striped backs. Some of these animals even grow to develop auroch-shaped horns. There have been a couple of reports in recent years of breeders claiming to have revived the species, including certain areas of India and Germany. However, these aurochs have not been confirmed through DNA testing yet. Considering these cattle were alive 270,000 years ago, it would be incredible to see the species revived in a modern environment. Labrador Duck the Labrador duck was a bird from North America who was last seen in the mid-1800s. The species was believed to have gone extinct after the Columbian Exchange during the 15th and 16th centuries, but a final sighting was noted in 1878. This duck was extremely rare to find during its lifetime, so as European settlers migrated to America and began to hunt the ducks, their numbers decreased to near extinction. It was expected that the breed would repopulate over time, but this never happened. Impressively, over 55 examples of the Labrador duck have been acquired by museums over the years, meaning that we have an excellent idea of what these ducks would have looked like during their natural life. Thylacine the thylacine was once the largest marsupial to roam the earth, having lived around 4 million years ago up until the early 1900s. The last living thylacine was captured in 1933 near Tasmania, and the species has never been seen since. These animals were known for being shy and nocturnal, with an appearance like a dog. However, these animals also had characteristics of a kangaroo, as they had abdominal pouches and stiffened tails. The closest relative of a thylacine is believed to be a Tasmanian devil or a numbat. It is assumed that these animals died off after dogs took over their natural habitats and humans began to hunt them. The most interesting fact about these animals is that we have video footage of them from 1911, 1928, and 1933. This footage was filmed at various zoos before the animals died off completely. The thylacine certainly appears to have behaved very similarly to a dog, even though the two species are not related. Resurrecting the species has been posed by many scientists, considering that the Tasmanian devil is so genetically similar. However, no successful efforts have been made. Cuban Macaw the Cuban macaw may look very similar to birds that still exist today, but it was a breed of its own. These birds are expected to have lived for thousands of years, but their lives were eventually endangered by the arrival of Native Americans and Europeans who began to hunt them in the 15th century. Their numbers began to dwindle, and they were officially declared extinct in 1885. Several skins of Cuban macaws still survive today, 
because many of the final living specimens were captured and gifted to various European settlers. There are 19 skins known to exist, each of which is found in a museum. The final sightings of these birds were sometime around the 1850s, with the final living specimen being found in 1864. There are many different variations of macaw that have been discovered throughout the years, but due to a lack of photographic evidence, it is difficult to determine if these species were Cuban macaws or another breed entirely. Thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos and want to see more great content, be sure to subscribe to The Unknown List and leave a comment below letting us know what stories from our past you'd like to see us cover next. Catch you next time!